I've wanted to do this my entire life. I thought I had all the time in the world to figure it out. And now it, Reno's ending, so I've got to find a jet. It is four o'clock in the morning here in sunny Alpine, Wyoming. It's time to go take the jet to Alabama. I gotta make that happen. I gotta go race in the, the fastest race on the planet. Shit, is that all it is? July, August, September. I have three months. Hey, the uh, wind has picked up a little bit. You ready for the engine? You need some time back there. You ready, sweetheart? But really, you know, with like registration deadlines and things, I've probably got about a month to find an airplane, maybe less. Um, somehow I'm gonna make that happen. Here comes the engine. I was worried it was going to be too dark, yeah, but no, it must be an overcast layer that's reflecting or something. Yeah. yeah, I'm just glad I don't have to worry about my laptop on this flight, up in the nose. That yeah, lovely. Well, it's laptop bag, like I've needed a new bag forever. And that Carl Friedrich briefcase is just amazing. All of Carl Friedrich's products just make it easy to make the transition from jet pilot or jet test pilot to jet traveler. I'm loving the Polissi double briefcase. It's got all the pockets you could imagine. It's got a beautiful zipper. They're made from full grain vachetta leather produced by artisans in Tuscany, Italy. The Swanfield wallet features a slim design. It fits everything I need. All of my cards, all of my pilot certificates, and yet it still fits in any pocket. It looks great. It feels great walking around with it. They come with a lifetime warranty a 100 day money back guarantee. They've elevated the way I travel and conduct business every day. Okay, good start missile, 500 degrees. Flaps. Rise and shine. Entered runway one AC off, AC off. I know. I was worried it was going to be too dark, yeah, but no, it must be an overcast layer that's reflecting or something. Yeah, it's, it's not dark at all. Okay, controls are free and correct. You got your lights on up front. Instruments. Like the panel lights? Yep. No, I'm just doing this in the dark. Yeah, send it. Ah, uh, old instruments, kids. Okay, we're, uh, get everything. Well, this rate, we're going to be there in five hours. Perfect. At this rate, well, no, at this rate, I don't think we have five hours of fuel either. <laughs> Actually, it might just be Salt Lake. Yeah, I don't think we would be there in five hours. We will be there in two two hours and like 25 minutes. Oh, that sounds like we got a lot of gas. All right, my panel board's clear. I'm gonna do my light test. I got lights everywhere. Yeah, hydraulic pressure on the front and the back system. Oh, my oxygen, I guess flaps good. Flaps is set, trim set. Confirmed. Ah, yeah. Fresh, did you see how much O2's traffic. in there? Albatross jets departing at runway 31 Alpine. Oh yeah, that's a nice number. He was 150 when I filled it, but the bottle was hot. Yeah. Okay. You ready to go? It is all ever be. Let's send it. That all looks golden. Okay, triple gauge is good, vibe is good. Center line's over here somewhere. We'll find it. I got mountains in my peripheral here. Airspeed's a lot of 60 knots. 80. 90. 100. <laughs> 120. Here's coming up, I'm just gonna fold this attitude. Dump the landing lights so we can see. One forty flaps coming up. Beautiful visual references. Hopefully there's no night flying birds. Okay. 
Okay, we're accelerating, we're climbing, we can mostly see the terrain. I'm gonna keep the power here for a moment, just till we have a little bit better terrain clearance. So you go ahead and make a left turn? Yeah, I think left sounds nice. If you can make it fast enough. We're not in a bonanza. What, you wanna pull a little harder? Yeah, well, I want a G or two here. Okay, power's coming back a little bit. I got a little bit of a layer up above us, trying yeah. to look at what it is, about 10,000. Yeah. Okay, at this rate, we're going to clear all of the terrain up ahead. I'm just worried about climbing through ice. Hopefully that layer's thin. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had a uh, outside air temperature reference of some sort. Or an ice light. I'd rather just know what the temperature is, honestly. It looks like the cloud layer doesn't extend very far. Yeah. You give me a little heat back here. On the canopies. Yep, turn it up a little bit. Yeah. That is, what, 447? Something like that. You call center? Yeah, so let's call us the... I mean, it's a lot less than on the left, but well, you're going in either way in about 10 seconds. Well, you are at a level here for a moment. We got some precip on the radar for the next 80 miles. And you might want to not go in it. The center external jet 139 or Lima. Uh, back in a little unreadable, is that November 139 or Lima? Affirmative, and uh, we're wondering if you have any cops reports out here. November 139 or Lima, I've had no one around that area uh, recently to get a cops report. Well, I see three sip number one three nine. Are you looking for stay low? Yeah, stand by one for one three nine Lima. Um just stay low because I can see light on the other end of this ridge. Let's get through this little section here and then we'll climb. I don't know about our twelve o'clock, but there's a wall hanging down of like a well, cloud on the left. Right, so that's why it's why we made this little turn here. Yep. On three, not a Lima. I'm showing that the pine. The pine? Pine Bill. Um, meat car there. Showing that they have a ceiling to uh, 1 1000 broken. Uh, that's not a deal. Okay, yeah, thanks. We're, we're just kind of just below the bases here. Just want to avoid some icing. So we'll, we'll probably call you back in a few minutes once we get around this stuff and then pick up the IFR. Yeah, look thin right above me right now, but... Right. I don't know what's above that. I think there's, uh, I think there's two layers here. November 1, 3, Nader Lima, you said you want to pick up your IFR plan? Uh, negative. We'll call you back in just a bit. Is there any other weather on the route today? No. It was supposed to be beautiful the whole way. This is one little bug, huh? Yep. Western Wyoming. It sounds like he's lightning to the south. So here's 16, come on, 16.5. Yeah, I can still kind of see a little ahead, but you got something up on the left. Right. But I think if we continue on this heading, should we just pick up the IFR on this heading and get whatever altitude we want for now? I think in just a minute we're going to see a little further. Yeah. It looks pretty good up ahead. There's just this edge of that wall you were talking about hanging over in front of us that I, I can't tell. Yeah, it's starting to open up quite a bit as we're getting through here. But I see another layer above it. Right. But and then, then I can see, okay, yeah. Go ahead and climb. I can see I can see the tops on the left. You think? Yeah. Yeah, center 139 early, maybe. Yeah, we'd like to pick up that IFR. 139 or Lima, Fox 6035. 6035, 139 Lima. Number 139 or Lima, South Street. I'll come to 175, right? 139 Lima. Number 139 or Lima, clear to a kilo alpha alpha Oscar, triple VI style, come in pain, level 270. Okay, clear to the Alpha Alpha Oscar Airport as filed, maintained by level 270139 or Lima. And it looks like you might just be able to pop on the second layer here and squeeze right in that little slot and yeah. then be up the MC the whole way. I mean, I think, I think that's where we're going to be right now. There you go, there's the 200. Yep. 
maybe pop over this thing. Did we flip the uh, pitot heat on for a moment just to be yeah. yeah, just to be safe. Just to be safe. But yeah, you could pop over the top of this, I think. You got enough energy. Uh, just barely. Let's give it one second here. But just go left slightly. Oh. Cause see, I, yeah, I don't think we have the energy for that because we're gonna we're gonna lose it real fast. I was looking at the hole on the left there. Yeah. With the hole on the right. Uh, and not much of a hole. But what's our destination? Well, I'll let you fly first. Alpha Alpha Oscar. The A A O. We're on top of the world. We are. Never does get higher on the right. <laughs> yeah. Better get that tail end you promised. Well, it died down quite a bit. <laughs> I think now it's like 35 knots or something, or 25 knots. Yeah, that happens in the morning. There's 22,000, we're going up to 27. Yeah, I think we got the tops made. November 1, 3, Niner Lima, contact clock at LSU 4.35. 1, 2, 4.35, 1, 3, 9, Lima, g'day. He's starting our right turn. Yeah. Total Extender Experimental Jet 139 or Lima, flight level 255 for flight level 270. For 139 Lima, it's up to center. Center 139 or Lima, request flight level 280. Over 139 Lima, maintain flight level 280, expect to go to 290 on about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, we'd love to, thank you. Okay, flight level 280 for 139 Lima, and uh, we'd love 290, but uh, we're negative RVSM. I don't know, here's 270. I don't know, is 280 actually going to put us on top? Yeah. For now, seems like it keeps going up. Wow, that's pretty. i got to get a photo of that. Hey! Beautiful. There she is. When we land, I gotta pay Shane, that way he's paid before we get there. <laughs> now there's like a line of thunderstorms just moving through Wichita. The entire central United States. Last night the forecast was like clear in a million everywhere. Yeah, there's quite a bit of color on that uh, screen there. So like Center Experimental Jet 139 or Lima, flight level 280. November 139 or Lima, that would sound good. Morning, and a bit light chop. It's like maybe a touch of rain up ahead. Okay, we got a wingtip and drop tank light. Been in the air for 46 minutes. And 39 Lima, do you need to stay at 28? Um wrong correction, or do you want to go down to 27? <coughs> yeah, we'll need to stay at 280 for uh, 139 Lima. Roger, I'll pass that along. 300 Lima, contact Denver Center, 12765. 127.65, 139 Lima, good day. Denver Center, Experimental Jet 139 Lima, flight level 280. Denver 139 Lima of uh, moderate to extreme precipitation. From your 10 to 12 o'clock, uh, looks like you're skirting the south side of it here in 180 miles, so um, I'll be taking you down probably to um, probably about 9 or 1,000 by the time you hit that, so, so you might be under it. 139 Lima. I've about six hours. Hour 139 or Lima, just going to maintain uh, 9 or 1,000. The ETOCD altimeter is 2,995. You can float it down as well. 9 or 1,000. I feel like it's uh, PD to 9,000 for uh, 139 Lima. Yeah, like I said, you can float it down. Um, I just need you to start down here in about uh, eight minutes. Uh, after that, if you could descend to 9,000, please, I appreciate it. Okay, we'll start down about eight minutes for 139 Lima to uh, 9,000. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, no, yeah, 9,000. It's got to be 9,000. Sorry. Uh, no, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, no over one three nine Lima in eight minutes. Just to maintain follow two three zero. They can't take down the rest of the way. Okay, in eight minutes we'll descend to flight level two three zero one three nine Lima. Okay. 
Should we just do Dodge City anyway? Well, you said the 2600 feet of Dodge City. It's still pretty high. 2800. Broken 2800 over caps 3500. Seven miles. Yeah, if we're gonna deviate Dodge, let's just get it done because we're. We basically it's Dodge, Dodge uh, City or A AVK, which is the space wheels. Dodge. 2800. I remember 139 Lima, we'd like to divert to Dodge City. Number 139 Lima, yeah, deviation, uh, oh, you want to go, oh, like divert to a different uh, destination of Dodge City? Hey, for a minute. <laughs> okay, roger that. Um, November th uh, 139 Lima, you're clear direct to the Dodge City Airport. And with that, I will have to have uh, you descend at 9 or 1,000, the Hill City Altimeter 2995. So, approach, so the weather is 140 at 11, so land runway 14. This will be ILS 14. You can see the inlet's warming up a little bit. I'm more concerned about the tail. Yeah, well, don't look at the wing then. I uh, see that. Sublimate. Well, just the uh, total air temperature. Four flights giving me a sink rate warning. Yeah, I got that too. We're coming out the bottom here, so we should be good in a second. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, do you see how much ice is on the wing? Yeah, I, I see how much ice is on the wing. It's our record ice build there. We were doing 380 true. It shouldn't last too long. Yeah, it's melting pretty quick. You getting that? Yeah, it's sublimating. It's just melting. Number 39 Lima. Oh, it is melting. 6,000. 6,000, 139 Lima. Number 39 Lima, continue on this present heading. Descent and maintain 5,000. Join the ILS inbound. Report established. Uh, fly this heading down to 5,000. Uh, join the ILS. Report established. 139 Lima. There's 11,000. I'll we'll slow down a little bit. ILS needles alive. Light sub's coming in. One three nine Lima is established. Our three nine Lima, Roger. You are clear for the ILS one four approach into Dodge City. Report cancellation in the air on the three seat or on the ground side service. Change to advisory to approve. Clear for the ILS one four change to advisory one three nine. West decision altitude. It's going to be twenty seven eighty six. You want to go ahead and set the rear altimeter too. Uh, 200 feet. Okay, I can't set it from back here, I don't think. So how many meters is that? 200 feet in a meter. What's a meter like? like? 9.6. Dodge City traffic, Albatross jet, about a 10 mile final on the ILS runway 14, Dodge City. Yeah, there's the runway. I got it. Give it a couple seconds here, and I'll try to go back to him and cancel. Center number 139 Lima, cancel IFR. 139 Lima, Roger, cancellation or cease, go maintain VFR, good day. Good day. Dutch City traffic, Alatraz jets, about a four mile final runway, uh, 14 Dutch City. There's 180. Get the uh, gear. Triggering. Air doors closed, hydraulic pressure skip. 160, go the first notch of flaps. Alright, we fully configured hydraulic pressures, are good. It's kind of fun to go from cruise to like shooting the approach to breaking out in like, you know, what was that, five minutes? Yeah, yeah. That was pretty quick. Cabin's coming depressurized. Thank you.
uh, wind has picked up a little bit, but we got some fuel, some McDonald's, just want some cockpits. Now, we're headed to Alabama. And center should be the other pigment, the standby frequency in COM2, so you should be all good. And you got filed? Yep, we right. filed to Gadsden. Direct. Dodge City traffic, I'll trust you, 3 Lima is going to depart 1 4 on the uh, eastbound. Dodge City. Alright, switches are all 4 triple H. I should get a little closer to the center line. Is good. What? The, the drops scare me a little bit on the taxi lights. Oh. <laughs> Take out some taxi lights. The good news, you just drop the drops off. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, fuck it. Alright, we're set for departure. Gauge is good. Temp's good. High speed is live. Hundred knots. I'm gonna give it just a little hair more so I can get some crosswind. I'm just gonna gear up. Is that a cop coming down the road giving him a nice little show? Nah, there's birds low. You see it? You see the cop, but I'm not worried about the birds. There's the cows. I mean, I've seen a lot of cows in my time, but I don't know that I've ever seen this many cows. All those little dots of cows. I got traffic right ahead of us, 600 feet below. Sounds like no factor. Where is he? Uh, just off the oh, wind tip, coming back at us. Center, experimental jet number 139, lean off Dodge City, looking for I already got some. 139, Lima, Kansas City Center, squawk 2145. 2145, Lima. Number 139er, Lima, radar contact 25 miles southeast of Dodge City Airport, South City, Lima. 10,400, Lima. 139 Lima, Roger, clear to Golf Alpha Delta as filed, calling and maintain file 230. Uh, guess it's file 230 for a minute. 139 Lima, your final altitude is requested 28 Z1 to 270 to uh, remain in RVSM, or not RVSM, and uh, direction of flight. Uh, 28. 39 Lima, we request uh, runway 280. 39 Lima, Roger, have request. Honestly, this isn't that bad of a traveling airplane. It's really not. It's kind of enjoyable. How many minutes, minutes are we? Seven potatoes is taking about 19 minutes. How many minutes out from the destination are we? I don't have any nav up. 28. 28. I think we're going to be about 13 minutes short. 7 Kilo Alpha, contact Memphis Center on 132.42. Okay, we put us down to about landing with 30 20 potatoes. Kilo Alpha. I don't think that's enough at Gadsden. Because our nearest al alternate with fuel and a runway is going to be Memphis like 10 minutes away. Memphis Delta, 1646 is with you, passing 24 for flight level 330. Uh, I think we're better off... Delta 1546, Memphis Center, Roger. Stopping short, buying cheaper gas, and uh, having a few more options. November 139er, Lima, go ahead. Yeah, we'd like to change our destination to Hotel Alpha Bravo. Should November 139er, Lima, Roger, clear direct Hotel Alpha Bravo. Okay, so we made it to Gadsden, Alabama. Getting the annual done on the existing jet. And now we're gonna go test fly the new jet, also fresh out of a shipping container from Estonia, just like this one was last year. And, uh, I don't know, Matt's too chicken to try it, so I think I'm going to go for the first flight. Pin 1's coming out. Pin 2, I guess. You have pin 1. All pins are removed. Your seat's hot. Okay. You can get the canopy. 